Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to Quill Korea's Best Korea, a European Universe 4 Let's Play. It's been a while since we've played some EU4, but it is great to be back in here. Of all the Paradox games, I've always felt like Europa was the, the true jewel in Paradox's grand strategy crown. Which is amazing to say, because Stellaris is so amazing fun, Hoy is so epic, and Crusader Kings is... Man, it's just Crusader Kings. What, oh, what else can you say about it? It's so good. But there's something about EU4 in terms of just game balance and, and depth of gameplay. There, there's, I don't know. There's just something special going on. So I haven't played in a while, and uh, I don't know if i played since the Manchu update. Not much, anyway. And in particular, I know that Korea has got itself a brand new mission tree of like 24 or 28 missions or something like that, which sounds like a lot of fun. So we're going to look into that. Now, as far as I can tell, Korea's got an interesting position in that there's not, there's not a lot of obvious blobbing out opportunities early on um and in fact korea might do a lot more sort of internal development rather than just fat blobbing out we only border two people by land there's ming and obviously directly assaulting ming is a little suicidal i mean unless we can somehow you know target them while they're at war something else going on it's entirely possible there may be something there but um we'll be looking for an opportunity to strike against ming but generally speaking Probably we'll just make friends with them. We might just even royal marry them uh, because we do have a mission speaking of missions in here for Chinese diplomacy either we have to Hate them or we have to make them like us. So either we rival them and insult them. We can't rival them though They're too big. So early on the easiest way to complete that mission is just uh, to Befriend them the reward. I mean 50 diplo power and some diplo rep isn't the most Important thing in the universe though. So we don't have to stress about it. But let's talk about Zhang Zhu um, Since there are other uh, land um, land border over here. And we are both tributaries of Ming, so Ming won't interfere if we fight. Very natural that we should go to war with them. However, and this caught me a little bit by surprise, we do start with a truce with them until January of 1450. So we have to wait just to scooch over five years. Five years and a month and a half, basically, before we can go to war with them. Unless we want a truce break right away, but I don't think that's a power move. Uh, we actually are only hated by Zhang Zhu here, which is interesting, because when I was loading up my initial game to sort of peek around and get an idea over things. We actually started as a rival of Dong Hei, but I guess they rivaled someone else instead. I don't know what the implications of that are. Now, another target we really would like to go after is Japan sort of in general over here. And the big reason for that is we share a trade node. The Nippon trade node is us and Japan right now. And having control over this would be really good. Now, there's not a lot of inflow right now. Right now, the only inflow is from the Giren trade node over here, which is not terribly wealthy. However, you'll notice that these arrows coming in from the fog of war to the east. We can get trade from North America over here. And in fact, Korea is in a position to colonize North America. And that is highly tempting. Um, and having control of the Nippon trade node would help a lot for that. The problem is doing that right now, um, Japan, while there's not a single Japan as a whole, Japan will um, uh, will have way, way too much Navy for us to really tackle them. And so speaking of Navy, here's what I think is going to happen. Unless we decide to navally invade Donghai, which I suppose is possible. At the very least, we should probably go and try to get some claims on uh, Yaren over here so we have an option. Um, we don't have to rush to fabricate a claim on Jianzhu because we have to wait five plus years before we go and start a war with them anyway. But we might be able to fabricate a claim here. And then depending on the situation with various alliances and whatnot that's going on over here, we may be able to start some crap. Um, specifically, it looks like Udej we'd like to make friends with. Let's just go ahead and improve relations with Udej. Um, and Nivke, Yaren, Yaren hates someone, and Nivke, or unless I just make friends with Yaren. I'm going to make friends with someone over here, probably. Let's just start improving some relations. Um, we might be able to make an early move on Donghai. There's a possibility we are simply going to go and trash our transports. If we get rid of our transports... I guess we'll probably keep our galleys. This is all inland sea here. But then we can get a lot more light ships for trade power. Because right now, these things... We only have three and we're at our force limit. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to split off the light ships. I will get them to protect trade in a pond for now. And the rest of my fleet... I'm going to get them parked over here. Maybe here. Do note there is like a, a mountain or something. Impassable terrain right over here uh, for a crossing. So we only touch uh, Zhu here. 
and and here. So that can change some of our decision making. Uh, we're going to move our troops over here. Um, we are going to go and mothball our forts. And we're going to have to decide whether or not we keep our troop maintenance on or not as well. Well, actually, short term, I'm going to go and drop the troop maintenance. Which actually makes us a fair amount of money. Which is nice. Let's talk about our leader. 655 Amazing Sauce. He is 47, so he's not going to live forever. But amazing leader right now. Unfortunately, our heir is garbage. We'd like to disinherit him as soon as possible. For that, we do need to have positive prestige. Um, do we have a prestige advisor? Yes, we do. Awesome. You quack. You're going to join our group here. Give us the prestige so we can get rid of our son as soon as possible. Um, and I think I will go for three advisors. Uh, well, at the very least, I'm going to get a military advisor. Morale, discipline. Six of one half dozen the other. We actually have a morale penalty. So I think I'll get the morale guy just to compensate. Um, no, we don't have a morale penalty. Oh, sometimes we do. Uh, in in my roles, like my, when I loaded up the game to, t to take a look, I had careful, I had well advised, but instead of scholar, I had craven up here. Just like my heir is craven. So it might be semi-random what you get. Oh, this is so good. Well, maybe I would have taken discipline. I don't know, morale's fine. Morale wins you battles. Discipline helps to win battles and keeps your losses a little bit better. But, I don't know, we'll go with something like that. Um, we are still making money, so I will go ahead and get a Diplo Advisor. Uh, morale of navies. Yes, I think that could be useful to start to, to win some stuff over here. So yeah, we'll build the spy network here. We'll improve some relations with people over here. We have minus 10 because of religious differences, but that's not too bad. Speaking of religion, we are Confucian over here. We have tolerance of heretics. We have a discount to administrative technology cost. Hey, that's going to combo quite well with 5% uh, discount to all technology cost over here, the Hangul alphabet. Isn't that a little early? Isn't it Hangul? Wasn't that developed in like, like the, I want to say early 1900s? Wasn't that a thing? Maybe I'm getting confused about something like that. I must, I clearly must be getting confused. Oh, we're going to give you tribute. Absolutely. Be nice to just hit like an auto button for that. Auto, auto accept tribute for now. Over right here, fabricate there. Uh, ooh, importing iron. Korean military, strong, modern, domestically supported. So we can import iron. It makes Ming like us more. It gives us military power as well. Or, ooh, mercantilism is good. But you know what? I like the military power because... Oh, and I need to make sure to boost my uh, stability here. Um, because we can make sure we're first to military tech four. I may even want to focus. I don't normally do that. Because normally I actually focus on admin because of early coring. I still don't know if this war is going to happen. It's really going to depend on how the diplomatic situation sh shakes down. So you're allied to Hasey over here. Which we can probably handle. Um, Udej, yeah. If we get Udej to ally with us, they will join in the war. We won't need favors or anything because we'll have a common rival. Oh, you're not even a main tributary. Interesting. So yeah, defensively, we have a lot going on for us because we're, we're protected by Ming, other from other tributaries. Uh, I should probably build up to our force limit. Which costs a little bit more money, but that'll be okay. Okay, yeah, they can keep changing their tribute. Actually, I can, t I can turn off that note. Do I not have a merchant? I mean, I may as well collect trade over here. 172, 187, okay. Yeah, a little bit less trade transfer bonus, but no, that's going to be better. Japan's going to have a lot of internal wars, and it will be really nice if we can jump on Japan at some point. But we really have to... The, the naval game is going to be critical for that. Mission fulfilled. Oh, build the force limit. Um, Let me wait before I hit this, because it's 25 years... So we're going to delay that to try to take advantage of the morale boost for as long as possible. Oh, I did not look at estates. Now, I need prestige so I can't hit that button. I can get 150 military power. Let's do that. Yeah, you're disloyal for now, but that's okay. Yeah, I don't think the 50 is worthwhile. But yeah, this is going to help us get our Tech 4 military real fast. Real, real fast. Mmm. I like it. How you guys feeling? 
No to Royal Marriage and Alliance, no to Royal Marriage and Alliance. Yeah. But it's because neutral attitude, it might change. Um I mean Oh, okay. I think it'll auto change. Excuse <coughs> Excuse me. I think I've got another one. There it is. Ah. Hey, guys. Everyone's favorite drinking game. <laughs> oh, we have another mission. What mission? Oh, that's dirt. That's the same mission. Build the fourth limit. I forgot. I hadn't hit that button. Oh, uh, let's make our son a command. He's not bad, actually. Maybe we're not as much of a hurry of him dying off. That's interesting. We do start with the uh, four calves, so more shock pips is actually kind of interesting. But no, we'll, we'll have to disinherit him the second we can to get a better a better air. More military points and not Craven would be I'm gonna go out on limb and say pretty nice. I don't know. Just just a feeling I have. We will want to get an admiral for things. Not that I think they've got much of a, a navy. Let's see here. Um right oh we don't actually rival Dong. Uh I wonder if we if we're gonna be able to um, so they have 8,000 active troops, which ain't much. And a smaller navy as well. Yeah, I mean, it's mostly going to come down to alliance things. So, of course, they will get defensive alliances. Uh... Oh, mountains. Okay, let's move to the hills, I guess. Attrition bad. I guess it's, it's winter as well, so that's... Yeah. Alright, spy network nearly done. Hmm. It's close. Fabricate claim. We have one ally, which is these guys over here. Do we just go? Well, we're going to have to improve, increase this anyway, which costs us a lot of money. We're going to have to take out loans if we're going to do this. But yeah, uh, let's recruit an admiral. He wound. Short-term gold is good. Stability's so strong. Let's do it. Let's help with the tox dollars a little bit too. Um, okay, let's land you. And I guess. Oh yeah, we're only going to bring ten at a time. We can do this. I mean, once we lose some infantry, the ratio might hurt, start to hurt, but. Hopefully reinforce as much as possible. It is mountains without a fort, so we'll be standing on it hopefully right away before anything else happens. I think we can probably do it. Wait, we don't need to keep building a spy network over here. It'd be great if we could have our alliances before the war starts, just because they won't accept afterwards, but I guess that's going to have to be that. Wait. You feel threatened by me. We could ally with you against... <sighs> oh, I mean, it's four more years before we do anything. That is really interesting. But no. That is really interesting. They hate each other, so they're not... Yeah, so they're not going to get at military access. Yeah. Hmm. 
Come on, land. Now, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to manually load my troops onto the ship and then put the ships here. There you go, because I want to try to catch the navy before they get kicked out of the port. And then I want to land my troops that way. This is mountains with a fort. We will have a numbers advantage, but taking that may be a little tricky. Now, if they move out like that, the problem is most of the territory is freaking mountains. We'll start besieging. It's only level one fort. It will go pretty quick. Although, I have to be careful. If they, oh, if, if they do that, hmm. We're just going to do, uh, oh, you're locked, so I don't think, oh, there we go. I can still do this. Excellent. So we'll put in more. You're going to repair this for a tick? I guess that's fine. Okay, they have moved in through here, probably through China. Or through Ming, I should say. Still, that's okay. We'll just focus on the primary war target for now. Uh, actually, dock again. We'll get the tick for October the 1st of repair. Thank you. Now we'll come over here. Now, you want to go to Yeren. We will... We will go and attack you there. Uh, admittedly, we'll be letting you get into the mountains first. But we're going to have a 2 to 1 numbers advantage. I think it's worthwhile. Ah, so we got there first. Holy cow. It's amazing. And you're going to reinforce and die. Oh, you got stack wiped. Oh, you went that way. Wait for the lock. We'll meet you there. Wait, are you actually going to get out? Because you're so fast. You are. You're going to join the pun party there. But we're going to go ahead and do some of this. Take out a loan. Um, ooh, mission fill. Oh, yeah. Hang on. I forgot to do that. Turns out we didn't need it. We'll do it now to save money. I was just thinking, oh, I could go and, um, I could go and raise war taxes, but that will delay us getting our military tech. Which, admittedly, we could have waited for before starting this, but. Sherming. Whatever you want there, big brother. Be nice to attack here while we would have the mountains, but uh, King's approval. We'd gain a bunch of leg I don't need legitimacy. I don't want to lose prestige. Oh, hold on. Can I do this while at war? While they're pending events. That's a lot of unrest. I gotta hit this, so I can't inherit my son. Dang. Let's group up here so we can move in. And you guys are there and ready to sink the ships. Excellent. Again, we're going to miss you. God. There you go. Dodge that. Um, we've seen this before. You, you have to be forced out to sea. You have no... Ooh, Unified China against Korchin. Interesting. Oh, you're just perma-stuck. Okay. Well, I guess what we'll do is we'll just park over here and be ready to transport our troops out of here. Uh, Alright, decide to change tribute. I do not need a pop-up window for that. And we can tech. So... Um, there's a chance someone else might tech. Let's wait before we go to war. We might be able to get a 5% discount. It's fairly unlikely. Get ready to ferry you back. Yeah, so they're in stuck mode. Uh, we did lose the siege, which is annoying, because that was a mountain fort. That we could have... We would have liked to have defended ourselves, but... Boom... We are going to have to defend our capital soon. That's only a level 1, so we can go ahead and do this. 
and actually save some attrition we could have done a little while ago. Oh! New access rates through here now. You're black flagged? Some of you are black flagged. I don't know if anyone is. Come on, pop. There we go. to go and retake my own fort to be able to get through things. So this actually, this falling to Ming is very bad. They declared war over here and these guys got brought in an ally. Can I change anything with Ming? Oh, this would make, uh, this would make Japan like us more. Ashikaga, that's Japan. Development cost... Local goods produced. We don't really need to trade power right now. You know what? Well, let's take the goods produced. The development cost, I mean, if we want to get a, an institution within the next 10 years, that might help. I don't know if, like, we don't really care about building a relation with Japan, I don't think, but... Now, out of curiosity, if I were to peace out now... Can't get the whole state. Um, six development, seven. Resources, fish. Uh, it's all fish. It's not very wealthy. Now, we should still be getting the ticking war score. Alright, because of this. Um, technically, I'm blockading them, although that's going to go away in a second and be meaningless. Now, if they were attacked here, I would be the defender in the mountains, which would be kind of ungood. Let me hit this now before I get into a fight and then forget. that which is good we'll call diplomat I mean we're not going to be able to um, ally them right now because we're at war hmm and I mean no one's going to want to ally at this time oh yeah actually we want to make full friends with Ming if we can probably this is really bad news because we specifically want that terrain the um, garrison. Yeah, we don't want to assault that, do we? Well, well, there's not even a wall breach yet, so no. Damn you, lack of cannons. Watch them win this siege. I mean, we have longer tick timers here because it's in the mountains. Sieging some stuff. I mean, which isn't the war goal. Uh, we might be able to, like, reset this shit, though, actually. Yeah. Okay, it's still bug because they're splitting and recombining. There's still something weird going on with that fleet. Ah, uh, come back. We need to win this and then kill these guys. They're going to win the siege first. I mean, retaking it's not going to be that bad, I guess. 
Uh, I can't get these guys a separate piece out, no. We still don't have a wall breach, so we still can't assault. I'm just going to get more attrition here, but... Could keep re-rolling generals and hope we get uh, one with a siege pip or something like that. Come on. 42... wanted my troops together so we can roll out. I mean, we got a nice roll there, admittedly, that it's up to 42. Come on. Sorry, I know I'm not talking much. I'm just, like, staring at the... There we go. Staring at the numbers, willing them to go for... Oh! Did you run out of dudes through attrition? Well, hello. Boom. That all desieged. That's a stack wipe. Uh, you're not adjacent to a castle. Uh, oh, you did desiege the war goal, though. Um, I'm going to leave that there. I don't care. Actually, rather than go for the war goal, why don't I just go for these guys? I wonder if we could vassalize them. I doubt it, because they weren't set up as co-belligerents. That's just a level one. So we really don't need a lot of troops there at all. Just carpet siege their stuff. Good old carpet siege. Uh, we don't want to lose that. Stand in the mountains next to these guys. And then be ready to attack. Because then we would be the defender of the mountains. There we go, they're running away. Dong high peace offer. Yeah, we're going to get back to you on that there, buddy. Oh, my heir dies! Hooray! Star overtakes me, lose stability. Oh well, lose some prestige. Boom. 615, new heir! Acceptable. Uh, although I don't have a general anymore. Let's go <coughs> and... Um... I want to make myself a general. I mean, I'm still better my heir and he's underaged. But it would save me points. You know what? I can make myself a general. It's a little risky. It definitely will accelerate the rate at which we die. This is effectively two ticks per month. Okay, we're moving over there. Can we beat them there? On the 14th? Yeah? So they'll just change their mind. Okay. Which is fine, though. Because then we can sit on the war goal. That's going to be okay. Yeah, I'm going to wait to take your uh, your capital there, buddy, before I separate piece you out. Um, we may have to worry a little bit about aggressive expansion. Oh, I just died. Okay. Well, that's what happens when I put myself in charge. Now, my queen consort is running. She's not bad. And then my heir is fine. I, I shouldn't have made myself a leader right away. That was kind of stupid. I don't want rebellion right now, so we're going to have to do that. I guess I don't care about prestige now. I can go Monopoly Charters, call a Diet, um, seek support. Oops, it does bring you to 100. Uh, that was a misclick. Yeah, no, that's really bad. There you go. Any chance that you can be vassalized? Exactly 100. Coalition. They're kind of busy right now. I'm absolutely 100% going to do this. Because you can even help me in the Civil War if you start to like me. Yeah, just come home. Uh, we're going to lower our forts we don't need them. Actually, you can plan on going there. Yes to this. 
Now, you have a bunch of land. If I rip some land away from you... Is it... Hold on. What's your name? Yangban Administrators. Then... You will decrease your loyalty. Influence will not change due to province influence remaining over 50% cap. What does that mean? Influence remaining over 50% cap. Uh, estate province influence cap. Oh, and they'll get they'll get an event that triggers. All right, 98% over here. Now, while I wanted the land, I'm a little worried about coalition-y stuff. Oh, you could just be vassaled. Although, you know what? Then we already have some some cranky-ass vassals. I don't think we can afford to do that. What I do want is I want war reps and all your money. Number one priority. And your rivalry with... Although they rival you back, so it's kind of moot. Am I going to take land? This isn't actually going to change the situation. Uh, if well, Solon would come in as a possibility. Let me just wait for as long as possible here. Let me bring that down a bit. Noble families would give them some loyalty. I don't think the loyalty is an issue, but let's go ahead and do that. Uh, oh, there you go. Show subjects. Uh, we don't have positive prestige, so we can't do that. Looming disaster. We need to have our troops back by then. Uh, you hate me regardless. If we weren't at war, you would actually ally with me. That's annoying. Well, we might go and clean this up. Let's see if we can eject their boats. I don't know if that's going to be a thing. Maybe we can vast. I don't know. Vassalizing seems to be pretty unlikely. I mean, no one can support their independence for a while, but... Yeah, they're gonna do that again. Should we just... Should we just try to consume? Should we just take the risk? You know what? It's early enough. Yeah, let's just vassalize them. And take all their money. What could possibly go wrong? Okay. We're going to do this to help you out with your rebels. 
No, deselect the army. Thank you. No, now you're outraged. And we'll do some of that. Yeah, the iron development sounds fine. Let me raise this before the aristocracy gets all cranky pantsed. So we are getting attrition there. Let's bring some of these guys home. Uh, by boat, yeah. Sure thing, Ming. Oh, and we do have some troops here as well. Guard that capital. I think we're just going to have to soak the uh, Civil War and hope, and hope we can deal with it. Or not the Civil War, the aristocratic coup. And do what we can. Call diplomat. Uh, we we may need, just need to auto this. Just try to outrage countries. And another. We'll do that. We don't have to necessarily suck up the dong right now because they're kind of going to hate us regardless. Okay, oh, I have to put a cut in here. 36 minutes, first video. Yeah, it is time. Um, I was talking about, how, like, as Korea, you can actually grow fairly tall and, and chill and peacefully about things. Um, or you can do what I did, which is either going to snowball us like crazy, or it's going to cause us to collapse next episode. Hey, we'll just have to see how it works out. Folks, thanks for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.